Melachim Rishon, 1 Kings 21. And it came to pass after these things that Navoth the Yisraeli had a vineyard, which was in Yisrael, hard by the palace of Achav, king of Shomoron. And Achav spoke unto Naboth, saying, Give me at your vineyard, that I may have it for a garden of herbs, because it is near unto my house, and I will give you for it a better vineyard than it. Or, if it seem good to you, I will give you the worth of it in money. And Nevoth said to Achav, Yahuwah forbid it me, that I should give eth the inheritance of my fathers unto you. And Achav came into his house, heavy and displeased, because of the word which Navoth the Yisraeli had spoken to him. For he had said, I will not give you eth the inheritance of my fathers. And he laid him down upon his bed, and turned away at his face, and would eat no bread. But Isabel his woman came to him, and said unto him, Why is your ruach so sad, that you eat no bread? And he said unto her, Because I spoke unto Nevoth the Yisraeli, and said unto him, Give me at your vineyard for money, or else, if it please you, I will give you another vineyard for it. And he answered, I will not give you at my vineyard. And Isabel his woman said unto him, Do you now govern the kingdom of Yashadael? Arise, and eat bread, and let your heart be merry. I will give you at the vineyard of Nevoth, the Yisraeli. So she wrote Sepharim in Achav's name, and sealed them with his seal, and sent the Sepharim unto the elders, and to the nobles that were in his city, dwelling with Ethnavoth. And she wrote in the Sepharim, saying, Proclaim a fast, and set Ethnavoth on high among the people. And set two men, sons of Belial, before him, to bear witness against him, saying, You did blaspheme Elohim and the king, and then carry him out and stone him, that he may die. And the men of his city, even the elders and the nobles, who were the inhabitants in his city, did as Isabel had sent unto them, and as it was written in the Sepharim, which she had sent unto them, they proclaimed a fast, and set Ethnavoth on high among the people. And there came in two men, children of Belial, and sat before him. And the men of Belial witnessed against him, even against Ethnavoth, in the presence of the people, saying, Navoth did blaspheme Elohim and the king. And then they carried him forth out of the city and stoned him with stones that he died. Then they sent to Isabel, saying, Navoth is stoned and is dead. And it came to pass when Isabel heard that Navoth was stoned and was dead, that Isabel said to Achav, Arise, take possession of Eth the vineyard of Nevoth, the Yisraeli, which he refused to give you for money. For Nevoth is not alive, but dead. And it came to pass, when Achav heard that Nevoth was dead, that Achav rose up to go down to the vineyard of Nevoth, the Yisraeli, to take possession of it. And the word of Yahuwah came to Eliyahu, the Tishbi, saying, Arise, go down to meet Achav, king of Yashadael, which is in Shomoron. Behold, he is in the vineyard of Nevoth, whither he is gone down to possess it. And you shall speak unto him, saying, Thus says Yahuwah, Have you killed and also taken possession? 
And you shall speak unto him, saying, Thus says Yahuwah, In the place where dogs licked eth the blood of Navoth, shall dogs lick eth your blood, even yours. And Achav said to Eliyahu, Have you found me, O my enemy? And he answered, I have found you. Because you have sold yourself to work evil in the sight of Yahuwah. Behold, I will bring evil upon you, and will take away your posterity, and will cut off from Achav him that pisseth against the wall, and him that is shut up and left in Yashadael. And will make eth your house like the house of Yavra, Yaravon, rather, Yaravon, rather, Yaravam, the son of Nivat, and like the house of Basha, the son of Achiahu, for the provocation wherewith you have provoked me to anger and made at Yashadael to sin. And of Isabel also spoke Yahuwah, saying, The dogs shall eat at Isabel by the wall of Yisrael. Him that dies of Achav in the city, the dogs shall eat. And him that dies in the field shall the fowls of the air eat. But there was none like unto Achav, which did sell himself to work wickedness in the sight of Yahuwah, whom Isabel his woman stirred up. And he did very abominably in following idols, according to all things as did the Amorim, whom Yahuwah cast out before the children of Yashadael. And... It came to pass when Achav heard at those words that he rent his clothes and put sackcloth upon his flesh and fasted and lay in sackcloth and went softly. And the word of Yahuwah came to Eliyahu the Tishbi, saying, See how Achav humbles himself before me, because he humbles himself before me, I will not bring the evil in his days, but in his son's days will I bring the evil upon his house. <laughs>